you so much, everyone who has joined our Champions of Safety webinar today. Um, this is the second in our series of Champions of Safety, which is stories from golf clubs using Obby Golf. I'm Ryan Bell. I'm Senior Sales Manager at Obby Golf. And today we're going to be speaking with Hollywood Golf Club Maintenance Manager, Stuart Cameron, about using Obby Golf's safety compliance and training software. For those that don't know, uh, Obby Golf is a digital platform for golf clubs, which helps take the stress off general managers around safety, compliance and training by integrating all departments at the touch of a button. So we do this by empowering the entire team to manage their obligations within their own Obby Golf login, whether that be completing training, safety checks or updating documentation. We're trusted and endorsed by the insurance industry and stakeholders in safety, providing clubs with credibility and assurance are in good hands. So just to let everybody know, if any of the attendees have any questions, um, please feel free to put these in the chat and I'll do my very best to answer any questions at the end um, of the webinar. So let's dive in and hear from Stuart about Hollywood Golf Club and how they've become a champion of safety in the golf industry using the Obby Golf software. So Stuart, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, how are you keeping today? Not too bad, thank you. Excellent. Well, look, um, we'll get on to safety and compliance in a minute, but obviously on to more important matters. Uh, Hollywood Golf Club, the home of Rory McIlroy. Have you got any inside information for us? Can you tell us, will he be lifting the Claret Jug on Sunday? <laughs> well, looking for his first three holes this morning. I had a, had a quick look. He birdied the first, part the second, and I actually just stepped in here before he went on the third. So um, we we'll hope so. We we'll hope he has a kick on from the Scottish Open. Um, he finished it style, obviously in, in Scotland, party in those last two holes. Um, great second shot into the eighteenth. So if he continues that form, I don't see any reason why, if not lift, most certainly contend and uh, put those on the leaderboard under a bit of pressure. Yeah, I think there's a lot of us who'd love to see that. No, fantastic. Yeah, well, well, We'll be rooting for him. So, Stuart, in terms of yourself, tell us a little bit about your background and, and how you came to be maintenance manager at Hollywood Golf Club. Okay. Um, well, I uh, originally came from a security background. I spent uh, 22 years in the Foreign Armed Prison Service. Um, I retired about seven, eight years ago. I had medical reasons had to come out. Um, I'd been a member of the golf club for a long time, been there now about 12, 13 years as a member. And uh, quite friendly with some of the staff, actually the guy who was doing the original sort of cleaning and maintenance end of things, I got quite friendly with him. And he was going on holidays and he had no cover. So I was at a bit of a loose end and asked me, did I want to come in and do a couple of weeks cover doing his job? So I went in, done that, and kind of got my foot in, in the door that way. And um, became got in to do some work and I think I've worked in most of the departments in the golf club and the bar on the golf course and done the cleaning. I've even done some office work. He's entrusted me to count the money on, on, on a few times, like, you know. And then Norman, who was the, the original maintenance manager, he left. The job became available. I applied and, and I got it. And I've been to that now for about the last three, four years. Fantastic. And in terms of obviously Hollywood Golf Club's well known sort of around the world, um, obviously yep. in relation to being associated to Rory, but tell us a bit about the club in terms of membership size, staff size and, and sort of any background that you want to share. Yeah, well, I think uh, definitely in North Down, that area anyway, we're probably one of the most established and long running clubs. Like, you know, I think next year we'll mark 120 years of Hollywood Golf Club. And uh, like you said, there are most Famous member is obviously Rory McIlroy, but Hollywood seems to churn out good golfers at the minute. And as you know, we've got another exponent on the tour and uh, young Tom McKibben, who's just won his first DP Tour event. And uh, hopefully he'll kick on. I, I don't think he went to qualifying for the Open this year. So hopefully next year he'll kick on and we'll, we'll have two Hollywood stars playing in the Open next year. Um, our, our membership is currently sitting around at about Across all categories, about 1,300 members. Um, and obviously, uh, with the, the new extension and all that we have on at the minute, that, that incorporates gym membership and all, also. Um, our largest section, obviously due to the Rory effect, is, is going to be our juniors. Our junior section, I think at one point we actually had to close the books on our junior section. We had breached out between 250 to 300 junior members. Um, our ladies program, our ladies in the golf program is also bolstering the uh, 
the ladies' membership as well, where I, I think our lady membership has doubled almost in the, in the last five years. So on, on a membership end of things, like, you know, we're growing, we're striving, and uh, what we're, we're doing really, really well, really well, look, pardon me, really well on in that respect. Even for a club that, that size and with um, the membership of that size, our, our staffing levels sit between about 25 to 30. Um, that, that, that fluctuates obviously throughout the season. When when you come into the summer season, you would you would bring seasonal staff in, so that brings your numbers up. And uh, your, your bar staff as well, obviously, a certain amount of food timers within the bar. And then uh, your part timers. And as we know, bar, bar the bar tray can be quite transient. So you get a lot of people dipping in and out. So generally between 25 to 30 would be our sort of main staff levels. That's great. And in terms of um, Obby Golf, uh, how long have you been using Obby Golf now? And sort of how's the initial experience been? Uh, we, I, I think it was Kenny introduced to us uh, in around about February, March time. And it, it was sort of rolled out to myself, the, the general manager and the assistant manager, you know, for us to navigate around it, feel, feel our way around it and have a go at it. Um, I sort of came really fully on board to go across all members of the staff in about May time. And currently, at the moment, so far, so good. Every, 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 everything's going great with it. Uh, we, we are currently sitting, as of today, with uh, 93% of our staff fully trained, uh, inducted and, and fully trained. And the sort of feedback we're getting from it is the, easy, uh, the more you use it, the easier it becomes. And the more benefits that you see out of it, uh, as I say, the more you use it. So everybody's starting to find their own sort of comfort zones with it and, uh, as they learn to use it. And yeah, everybody's just starting to get into the swing of it now. And they're, they're, they're using it more and more. They're, they're, they're seeing the benefits of using it and, and understand it better. That's great. Um, in terms of, I mean, obviously with with software adaptability and adoption, um, I mean, how was the onboarding experience? I mean, how's your customer success manager sort of helped adopt um, Obby yeah. with your staff? I've, Marta's been great. I think Marta uh, at the outset realized that that I'm old and my computer skills were quite remedial. Um, so she she probably at the outset realized she had a bit of a battle on her hands trying to help me out. But she, she's been fantastic. Um, like I said, the onboarding process, obviously with Marta's help, has been quite straightforward. Um, because we were given that initial sort of month or so before everybody else took it on to get their, to navigate around it and, and learn bits and pieces, it made the, the whole sort of full rollout um, quite straightforward and, and quite easy. And like I say, Mar Marta's really, really good. Uh, any questions I have, like, you know, just, back with an answer or an instructional video or, you know, points of how to change things or points of what, what you need to do to get what you're looking for, you know? So yeah, yeah, no issues. Fantastic. I mean, I know Marta will be delighted to hear that. She'll be, she'll be appreciative <laughs> of that. Um, so I feel like yeah. 20 quid she slipped me like, you know, so uh, it was it just, it was just 20. I thought it was more. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, have, haven't noticed, um, have you noticed any uh, significant changes in the way you're managing safety and compliance practices since implementing OBI? And, and if so, what would they be? Um, I, I think accountability sort of would be the, the main thing. Like, you know, I, I, probably before OBI came on, we, I, sorry, I, I would have been sort of the main sort of health and safety sort of person within, within the club, you know, and sort of trying to push compliances and, you know, you need to do X, Y, and Z and be chasing people. Now that we are using this platform, everybody's accountable now. And it, it's seen as being across the board. So everybody um, manages or can manage the health and safety now through this. They see what they need to do. They understand what they have to do. And each manager then can track his team and he can tell the team again what to do. So it it, it it burdens the responsibility of having it from one person to everybody is now accountable and everybody can see that they have to fulfill their health and safety obligations. Excellent. So it's, that's the comprehensive nature is obviously what we're striving to achieve. So that's that's great to hear. Um, In yeah. terms of, um, has there been a situation, I know it's, it's maybe still early enough days, but have, has there been a situation where Robbie Golf's helped prevented maybe a potential safety or compliance issue or something that, that it's sort of streamlined for you at that time? 
I, I, I think I could, I could actually give you a couple of examples, Ryan, to be fair. Um, our, our training and induction has, it's really helped us with that, you know, um, with, with everything being digitized instead of being on paperwork. Paperwork can be lost and, you know, you're you're keep trying to keep track of people. As I say, for the likes of seasonal workers and bar staff work can be quite transient. You know, paperwork could come in and disappear and whatever. But at least now we have it all all digitized. Uh, we know that from the minute somebody comes in through the door, their induction process has started. Uh, it's completed within, within about an hour of them actually being there. And that goes right from learning how to operate the till if they need to do so right through to fire evacuation and, uh, and fire safety, um, which, is, which is a big thing for me. Um, security, like I say, coming from that background, is also a big thing for me. So it's actually helped us hone and tighten in our opening and closing procedures, where everyone who has a set of keys to the building knows exactly how to open up, knows exactly how to close, and know what they have to do to make the building safe um, within uh, as they're walking out the door. So there's never any any loose ends to tie up the next morning or you don't have to bring anybody in to bring them the book for not doing what they should be doing. It's all there for them when they scan codes or from when they open up their their their, their task list for for that procedure. Um that would be two. And then obviously again uh Buggy situation. Our our buggy situation was uh, a bit hit and miss in the past. As in, you know, if something had a broke down with a buggy, it could have set for a month before anybody was ever told about it or whatever. But now we've got the QR codes on the buggies. There's checklists. Everybody has to do that, and they then have to write notes on anything that's ever happened with a buggy. So we know instantaneously what what's happened to the buggy what's wrong with it and we can get it away and repaired within a matter of weeks rather than a matter of months and that obviously cuts down the loss in revenue and also cuts down on the the, the repair bills getting bigger yeah and i think you you made a, a great point there so obviously um for, any, for anyone who doesn't know there are the likes of um you know fire awareness training health and safety induction training manual handling in the system but sure made an excellent point there in regard to something as simple as using the tell i mean tells and epos systems you know take their own uh, amount of training so to be able to upload that information on the obby and share it to the staff who are going to be using the tell i think that's obviously a massive benefit sure that people can have access to the information they need straight away when they start so it speeds up their process to actually start using the yeah 100 percent. absolutely absolutely excellent and in terms of um sort of saving time or money uh, making things easier for you um giving you a bit of time back has obby golf been able to help you with that yeah i mean and um, i'm gonna reiterate just basically what i said on my last point uh, the, the buggy thing you know you're not chasing your tail with that you know because every you know the pro shop they're the major dealer with the buggies taking them in and out so as soon as they find out that there's something wrong with it, you, you like I say, you know instantaneously because the note comes up, the alert comes up on my screen, lets me know exactly what's going on, and then I can get in touch. And so your buggy's not out of action, you're not losing revenue, and you're obviously your repair bills aren't going to be as bad. And it's basically the same as anything throughout uh, throughout the club. If somebody sees damage somewhere, you know, you're getting told about it straight away. You know. It's, it's instantaneous, like you know what I mean. So I can, even if I'm off for a day, I can come in the next day, open me all big off, and there could be a, a couple of couple of things off of a checklist or a couple of alerts. I look at my alerts, and it's oh, there's some of these damage this this and you can quick away, you know. So you don't have to go around and sort of survey the building, to find out what you have to do for the day. It's just all sitting there for you. That I think that's a fantastic example. It's certainly one that I remember we spoke about initially. Sure, when it came to the club to see it, is that a lot of clubs um mention about how difficult it is to communicate certain issues around the club, and and maybe only one person knows about it, and then one becomes two, and two becomes three. But that could take a series of days. So to be able to communicate that instantly and digitally means that people can be on top of things and get them done quicker. Yeah, I, I think when when you when you do sort of have um. I, I, an employee base that is larger than I say about 20, you know, communication does break down. You know, it, it can take longer for things to filter through, where in this case, 
it actually doesn't. Like I say, as soon as, as soon as one person's found out about it, the alert comes up because they have put it on the system for you. And, you know, like I say, almost instantaneously that, uh, what, what the issue is. So in terms of um, other departments, have you spoken to any of the other departments in the club um, sort of about how it's improved their safety and compliance measures? Obviously, it's used throughout the club across all departments. This is, is sort of quite unique. Um, any feedback from the other departments? Yeah, like I said, we, we have rolled it out now. We have uh, seven departments. Six out of the seven departments within the golf club now are fully conversant and fully using Bobby Golf. Um, our last department, obviously, would be the restaurant area, but it's franchised. So we, we hope to roll that out to them within the next within the next couple of weeks, you know, because they're they want to see exactly how this works and, and understand how it works. Um, we have a, we're also hoping to roll it out to our gym as well. Um, as much as these guys are sort of franchisees and whatever, the the personal trainers within the gym are are have had a look at it, seen the benefits of it, and, and they're looking to maybe bring it into the gymnasium in some way, safe, or some respect. Um, speaking speaking to the departments around, I mean, say the cleaning department. I mean, it, it's a big thing. Health and hygiene is, is always a big thing that we we like to, we like to keep the club clean and as hygienic as possible. And their sort of big thing is because the the daily tasks that we have. And the routines that they now have, and the daily checks that they have to do, um, every, everywhere is, is set at the same standard, you know. So you don't come in one day and something's being missed. You no know? codes are there. You scan the code as you go into each room. You're told exactly what to do, and you go ahead and do it. So everybody again is off the same time sheet there. Uh, again, the the performance academy with the, the simulators, obviously there's a lot of uh, technical equipment in there. These uh, shut down in a specific way, specific routine. So that's all going to plan now too, because again, everything's set, and it's set in motion. Um, the bar staff, again, again, the security, because they're locking the building at the end of the night, um, everybody does the exact same procedure. Nobody does anything different now because it's all been set in stone. It's all on here and everybody understands what they have to do because they can see it. It's in black and white in front of them. Well, it's a ties in front of them, like you know. So, yeah, but it, it, anybody who's using it currently at this moment in time within the club, like say ninety three percent of our staff trained, all, all are all happy enough using it, and the feedback coming from them is is very good. Yeah. And, and it's great. I think Hollywood's a great case study because obviously you've got um the sort of general departments that golf clubs would have, you know, obviously green keeping, catering, you know, uh, cleaning, but you obviously have things like the swing room and the gym. So it sort of shows the flexibility that the system has. The other thing that, that's notable for me, um, Stuart, and, and as we continue to do these Champions of Safety webinars, on the last one, we had a general manager and an operations manager, obviously your maintenance manager at Hollywood Golf Club. We're going to do future ones with green keepers. And the fact that other members of staff can feel comfortable to come on to webinar to talk about the system and it's not just the general manager who has to you know deal with the system i think that that plays a big part into sort of the flexibility yeah well and also i'm probably the prettiest one within the golf club and that's why <laughs> <I'm>, uh, <laughs> please don't tell my boss that uh, no yeah it, it won't it, end it, of the recording <laughs> I, I, I think it's one of those things it's it's like um life in general you know it's 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 not it's not the ch change that people don't like, it's the fear of change. It's the fear of going into that. Um, and once they, they, they get over that and find, that, yes, this is not as bad or it's, it's not as daunting as what they thought, you know, health and safety compliance, blah, blah, blah. Once, once they actually get on board with it and, and see exactly just how easy and how simple it is and how easy it makes their working day, you know, and the, the working life, you know, they like say with the green keepers as well now, you know, their, their machinery and all is, is, is fully operational because they they can scan it. They know what's wrong with it, if there's anything wrong with it because there's notes from the previous day. So they can get onto that quickly. So it, it, it's helped us out immensely with, with health and safety, with cleaning, with security, with, uh, all, all our training and induction, yeah, it, it, it's it's a very Im impressive platform to be using uh, within our within where we are at the minute at our club and our facility. Because as you say, we cover not just golf, but now we have a, a, a health and health and fitness suite, and we have the swing room. You know, so we we have a lot going on, and this 
does help us out immensely. Fantastic. And um, what would you say to clubs? Obviously, we've got a, obviously a few people have come to the webinar very kindly and um, to sort of learn a little bit about Obby. What would you say to clubs who aren't currently using Obby Golf or maybe don't have a safety and compliance software solution um, in terms of, of maybe taking the step to go in that direction? I, th I think if you, if you don't have sort of a health and safety sort of compliance platform or solution, definitely get this, I, I would say, especially larger clubs where there's... Uh, more departments where you have uh, more staff to manage or where there's a, a chance of cross deployment coming in from, you know, other sections. Because then everybody just sings off the same hymn sheet because it's, it's all there for you. you. You've standardized, there's generic tasks, you can standardize tasks and you can have tasks specific to each department and to each golf club, you know, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's not just like a, a whole big generic umbrella where you just sit there and just say, right, Obby Golf and Obby Golf does this. Obby Golf helps you sort of streamline to your needs as well. You know, it's it's the needs of the club. And you, you guys have actually helped us streamline a lot of our stuff. Um, so I would definitely say get it. Yeah, it's it, it's been a great help to us so far. I, I kind of hope moving forward we can, it'll help us more, you know, because... But we're looking to grow, obviously, as most clubs look to do. Um, um, and with growth, um, health and safety then becomes a, bit, a, bit, a bigger part. So we've, I mean, we've got a, a lot of great things coming in the pipeline for 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 Obby Golf, which I think you'll be excited to use. And in terms of Hollywood Golf Club, what's next for Hollywood? What if what have you got coming up? What's what's exciting that we should look for? Um, well, as I've already stated, we've, within the past five or six years, we have, we have, we have grown immensely anyway with, with, with the addition of the, of the gymnasium, um, the, the, the track man base swing rooms and all that we have, um, which make, makes us more than a golf club now. We're more like a, a golf and leisure facility now. It, it seems to be coming. And we, not, not just North Down or either Northern Ireland, I think we're one of the very few, if not the only, uh, in Ireland that can sort of offer this that sort of facility that we have. Um, we are bringing our pro shop in-house. So the golf club is, it's not going to no longer be franchised out. The pro shop is coming in-house. So we are going to have to, rewrite new health and safety things for, for the golf club with, with help of yourselves, um, new procedures and policies going in there. So as everybody, because again, we've we been across the deployment there. Everybody might have a, have a chance to work on the pro shop. Um, and we're, we're always constantly looking to improve. You know, those are just a, a couple of simple things there. We're just look to improve and grow. And obviously be a big competitor within the golf industry, not just in Ireland and the UK, but with uh, the visitors that we have coming in now from continental Europe, USA, Asia and whatever, you know, we would like to take the sort of the Hollywood uh, global, to, you know, so as we are, we are more worldwide and obviously it really helps us with that. Absolutely. Well, like, I mean, I don't think you'll have any issues with that. Well, look, before I move on to just a, to, to a question or two that have been asked, Stuart, I'd certainly like to thank you for your time. For for I know you're a man who's preparing to go on holiday, you lucky yeah. so and so. Um, but to take the time out of your schedule to do this, um, it's been very, very kind. So I really do appreciate you doing it, Stuart. Thank you. Yeah, 